Hello, everybody! Hi, <laughs> CMA. Yes, we are early. But hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, new night, wherever you are in the world. And as per the usual with these Phoenix Wright streams, I'm joined by the roommate Ronin. Hello. I'm literally gonna sleep in like eight minutes, not relevant, guys. <laughs> To be fair, you have a very different time zone. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do last left off, which is finishing off this game, finally. This particular game. Alrighty. March 23rd, 2.35 p.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Right off the bat. Court will now reconvene. I assume both sides are ready. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Even as you're like, fuck. Her. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Holy shit, my headphones are absolutely lagging your stream again. Oh no. Oh no. I can understand the defense, the defense acting like this. However, why do you also seem to strop, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> I... That is... It's nothing, Your Honor. <laughs> Everything is perfectly fine. What's wrong with Edgeworth? Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like something unexpected just happened to him. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth. If you would please tell the court... I'm not used to hearing myself this well, it's strange. I tell the court the results of the... Handwriting analysis on Miss Impact's suicide note. Yes, Your Honor. Unfortunately... I s you sent me a DM later? Okay. <laughs> I'm a professional I'm botherer. <laughs> yes. And since I'm sleeping in six minutes, I just came to say hi. Okay. Fair enough. You said that already? Yes. <laughs> Fiera and Grayson. <laughs> doing good. We're doing okay. At least better today in my case. <laughs> we have discovered that this suicide note is a forgery. What? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean what I said! It's a forgery! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> this note was not written by Miss Impacts herself. It's a fake. Hence, why I said... It's not real! <laughs> a bunch of orders. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, would you care to explain what is go- He just did! It ain't real, bruh! That's all there is to it! If this is not written by Miss Impacts, then who wrote it? How the fuck do we know that yet? I don't know. We would need more time to do more, a more detailed analysis. However, it appears that the handwriting matches that of the victim, Mr. Juan Corrida. So, we have an idea. Mr. Corrida? Well, well. It seems like Miss Impacts never left a suicide note after all. She never wrote anything about on guard. However, Your Honor, even though the ugh, this suicide note is indeed fake, Mr. Ungard could not have known that, and so the facts remain unchanged. Fuck. Oh, good luck, my dude. Chemistry exam. Woohoo! I mean, yeah. I liked chemistry and stuff like that, but I'm a nerd. Yes. Kep. I I what? <laughs> I, th I thought it was like, yeah, I actually took chemistry in, in high school. <laughs> that was like the one science that I could take. I like chemistry, but fuck the exam. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> exam sucks. <gasps> Acting under the assumption that it was real, he had plotted, plotted to possess it. Hmm, that does sound very plausible. My thigh is itchy like a motherfucker. <laughs> <sighs> this theory that Ungard had no idea that the suicide note was fake. Fuck the fuck. The, 
fuck, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Everything is facts. <sighs> Something seems a little wrong with it. Again, I am not gonna fucking try and fuck around with this. I'm just going to... Follow the thing. <laughs> god damn it. Why are we doing walk-through bullshit with freaking cheating? Kidding. I don't give a shit. Make this the first <laughs> official VR13 emoji. Just a fax uh. machine. God damn it. The defense believes that the theory the prosecution has stated contradicts testimony. If everything the prosecution has proven up to this point is true, and then it's impossible for Mr. Ungard to not have known it was fake. Ah, I gotta sneeze. Ah! I won't sneeze, but I gotta sneeze, but I can't. Do you wish to sneeze? I want to, it won't happen. Why Turning not? it off won't make me sneeze. Oh. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, typically I either turn away or I mute the mic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna turn away. The problem is, the sneeze isn't happening! Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Please. I mean, it's not that the game's fault that you keep hitting the wrong button. I know, my brain's like, <laughs> what the fuck, where are my fingies? <laughs> what is this little item called again? Um, a video camera, your honor. Well, a very small one, but... Oh, that's right, a camera! Oh, you kids and your fancy toys nowadays! Sure. <laughs> I mean... We used rotary phones and, and pay phones and shit, like... <clears throat> Were you ever terrified of pay phones? I used to be. Social anxiety. I rarely had to use a pay phone. Because I never lived in the city. <laughs> mm. And there weren't that many payphones in, like, where my parents live. This I'm... scared me. Fair enough. I don't want to call. I don't know. It's not a, it's not a home phone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it spooked me. It spooked you. Mr. Edgeworth, earlier you claimed that Mr. Ongard knew of the existence of this note. Because he was spying on the victim. Isn't that right? It's this Scooby-Doo music. <laughs> if that were true, then this means Mr. Ongard would have known that the victim had forged the note. Mm. Is that his act? <laughs> mm. So then, the defendant knew this suicide note was a fake. And if that's true, then the situation has suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. Exactly, Your Honor. The prosecution's theory as to what Mr. Ungard's motive the motive for murder was. That's okay. You good luck with your exam tomorrow. Do the sleeps. Do the sleeps. Get good rest. Good night. <laughs> Surprised he did not get confused. Where is he? On the floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jose Jalapeno on the floor. Check the DM. I'll check after. For right, the next check now. I have a phone. <laughs> it has suddenly disappeared into thin air. Good night. I'm checking. You get DMs. <laughs> but your honor. <laughs> <laughs> One thing and one thing only. Facts! <laughs> oh god. It's not as if uh, Mr. Ungod uh, monitored Mr. Creator 24 hours a day. What did we saw? Well, that's the plan, dude. I tried to fax this image. <laughs> god damn it! Damn you! <laughs> he tried to fax the image to me. 
<laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> you old. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're the same age as me! I know. You old. <laughs> That's the whole point of that joke! Perhaps the victim wrote a note in place in a place Mr. On Guard didn't know of. <laughs> We're right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> We're right back at you. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed, like, in the camera, my shirt almost looks exactly the same color as Phoenix's uh, uh, suit. Yeah, that's because the saturation is, like, bright as fuck. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> good night! Have good sleeps. <laughs> Ew? <laughs> I don't know that Noah last word, so facts. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> good night, bud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why don't you show us some proof that the victim made the forgery an at an unknown place? I can read. You, you can read? Yes, sir. Sure, sure. <laughs> <Grr. laughs> <laughs> this new sleep cycle, while great for me during the day, uh, yeah, 6.30 and my brain's already like, you've done stuff today. You should rest. I'm like, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> More orders. I hate this so much because he does the same thing every time. It's order, 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 but it's just... Brrr. Like, just say it once! Switch it up a bit! Mr. Edgeworth! It looks like this time, it is you- It is you who has dug your, his own grave! Oh! -ho! How dare! As I figured. Huh? As you figured? As I figured, it came down to this after all. Dredworth, you're not making any sense. <laughs> I just remember the last time when we had to finish it quickly, we were like... <laughs> <laughs> when I heard the results of the handwriting analysis, I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What next indeed? If the prosecution can't prove Mr. Ongard's motive through the evidence then we must prove it from another angle. Facts, bro. Well, I agree with you there. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Your Honor, never say that again. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. You expect me not to entertain myself? Yep. The prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. Oh, well, that's fine. However, this witness... This witness is a little unusual. Edgeworth stuttering? This is not like him at all. Have you been listening since I've been talking for him? All he does is stutter because I can't fucking process words. Unusual? Well, what sort of witness is this person, Mr. Edgeworth? This witness is Mr. Plain, who is back for his usual time. Yep. Still says we have one viewer. Go the fuck to bed! No, there's usually, like, a, some people linger and it still says it's always one viewer. That's normal. Pfft. Strange. Me. Are you done? Oh, <laughs> didn't actually say... Who was it that hired Shelly to kill her to commit murder? C'est impossible! C'est impossible! <laughs> Hostie! Who in the... No such person exists... Sure. Who can answer that question with such certainty? So you know everyone on Earth, Phoenix? <laughs> Yes, Mr. Edgeworth, who is this witness? It's, um... 
Yes, go on. Who is it? The man himself. M Mr. Shelley DeKiller. Oh, Mr. DeKiller. Wait! Shelly the Killer! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. It is not possible in my court! Um, you mean the killer? Um, I mean the assassin? Yes, Your Honor. He's coming here? To the witness stand? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. I recognize that this is. A very unusual circumstance, uh, so I ask for your permission. Why the fuck would I allow you to bring an assassin in here? Of course you can. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright? Yes? Is this- Why are you asking me? <laughs> Is this alright with you? Do I have a choice here? I can't really do much else to drag this trial out. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. If I did, it's your fucking court! I wonder if it really is alright to do this. Very well then. The prosecution calls its witness to the stand. Edgeworth, is there no other way left to us? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. I thought you reached for your mug and then were like, no. I mustn't. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Yeah, I was getting lip balm because my lips are cracked as shit in the back. Now then, the witness. <laughs> um, your name and, uh, occupation, please? <laughs> I forgot about this. Yeah. Now, this is his regular voice. I'm just gonna use his regular voice. And I <laughs> forgot what the fuck I did for his voice. <laughs> When we meet him in real life. Mm. Did I give him, like, a French accent? Yes. Okay. Very good, sir. I, I gave him British one. Fuck it. No, you didn't. No? <laughs> Who else do you do this accent for? Uh, very good. Very good, sir. My name is Shelly D. Killer. I am a professional assassin. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. I'm just gonna roll with it. It's Furman. <laughs> French-German. <laughs> I've been doing too much Francisco. <laughs> you have not! She's been away! No, true. I say! What's going on here? What do you think? Your Honor? Oh, how can you be so cool? I mean, what is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it, it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. D. Killer will testify to the court. This court. So this must be what that urgent phone call he got earlier was about. Oh, oh no, this will not do. I cannot allow this in my- You- Why? <laughs> First of all, we can't even be sure this is really Mr. D. Killer himself. D-Killer just sounds different in my mind now. D-Killer. <laughs> no, D stands for many things. Sure. Witness, please present some sort of proof that you are in fact Shelly D-Killer. I need to try and get my brain into like... Picture his face. His stitchy face. I understand. Please wait a second. Maya! Maya! <laughs> <laughs> Your brain was like, uh, ooh, what do I do? <laughs> Find her voice! Uh. <laughs> My brain was like, this is Mia talking. Fuck! <laughs> Mia talking. Say Maya. Take a drink. Don't. Must speak. Uh. <laughs> Maya! <laughs> <laughs> it was such a delay! <laughs> A voice! Mr. Wright, can you confirm anything from this? 
<laughs> the defense has no objections to this person. We are satisfied that this man is indeed Shelly the Killer. Looks like we have to run into yet an- We have run into yet another unexpected turn of events. Well, it doesn't seem- Ooh. <laughs> seem oh. like we, <laughs> we have too many choice under these circumstances, so... Now then, witness. There is one thing I would like to, uh, to confirm before we speak of anything else. And what would that be? Oh, what the, what the fuck? I mean it! <laughs> French, right? Francisca von Karma. <laughs> I know, I keep going to Francisca voice, I'm like, what is wrong with me? You're French! <laughs> I know I'm French! <laughs> hey, do your, do your accent! I'm trying to do a French, but that's not the fucking work. Now you're Italian! I'm fucking Italian, goddammit! <laughs> you go to, as you call shitty German, to Italian, just do French! <laughs> <laughs> and what would that be? Fuck it. <laughs> At this point, the accent's going on a little bit. At the request of a client. <laughs> oh, I feel like you just need to watch that footage back or listen to your old voice. <laughs> At the request I of a client, you killed Mr. Juan Corrida, is this correct? A minute. I, I I know how to correct this. Uh -huh. I just needed to do the beginning part of Les Poissons. <laughs> les Poissons, Les Poissons. <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> See if I can keep it. <laughs> it is as you say. I indeed killed Mr. Carita. <laughs> At this point, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> it's just accent. accent. <laughs> Some sort of accent. Now that we have answered that, let's. Oh, it's going into the something else. Oh no. <laughs> let's move on to the cl the name of your client. Which is funny because in the next game, there's a character that's supposed to have some sort of a French accent, and I can do his a lot better because there is actually French words in that character. <laughs> but for some reason, I can't do it with this one. There are French words in that killer. French, French words in that killer. <laughs> Does that sound better? There are. There's no way for words to be the, in a person. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up on your face. <laughs> Very well. I'm. He's gonna have a more feminine voice. I can't. <laughs> fuck me. You can. <laughs> My brain's like nope. <laughs> not happening, bro. <laughs> uh, have a party, me, I stay. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying you can because you said you can't fuck me. I was like, well, no, you can, but not on stream. <laughs> this <laughs> Shut up for your face. <laughs> this is all just a bad dream. Yes, that's. It. You've been a judge for how many years? God knows how long. And this now world. you're like, oh my goodness, there be death. Shelly to kill her. What is he gonna say? Oh my God. Les poissons. Les poissons. About my client. A minute. Okay. There is something I must first state. To an assassin, nothing is more important than trust between a client and himself. Now I'm getting it. Fuck my life. <laughs> and that is the reason why I'm here today. On this witness stand. It is my wish that you grasp the concept before I give my, the name of my client. <laughs> hmm. Mr. DeKiller seems to be a very clever man. No shirt. <laughs> I'd almost say he seems to be mocking us. No shirt. <clears throat> While he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor, Mr. DeKiller is only stating the truth. He is no hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean about his trust between his clients and himself thing? Hmm. It seems to be a level of trust beyond what people like me can comprehend. That's not... okay. 
Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready to cross-examine the witness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way to know what's coming next, so stay cool and collected, Phoenix. There never is a way to know what's coming next. That's life! <laughs> okay. The trust between you and your client? I provide my services in a fast and efficient order, uh, manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. If too many people knew my face, it would be quite troublesome. I'm going... I, <laughs> I hear myself slip to German again! <laughs> and that's why you're testifying in this manner? This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. I must preserve the killer's name so my client can trust me. But couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It has never happened before. But if it ever did... Yes? That person would be my client for very long. They would certainly... That's enough! You could incriminate yourself, and I could allow you to give us more information, but no, weak stomach, brr, please, no more. To be fair, he, we already know he's a killer. It's not really incriminating if he's like, yeah, I killed no, people. No, but if, <laughs> if they give us something like the way they do things, and then it conne connects them to them, the more, you, the more we let them speak in the court, the more yeah. we can actually use against them, but the judge is like, eh, no, I don't want to hear spookums. Right. Very well. Nope, that is Francisco. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, Very well. I was only a hypothetical. It was only hypothetical. Casita Barnack. I'm gonna fucking throw a fucking shakastic hole at least, Chris. Very well. It's only a hypothetical anyway. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright. Um. This one. That seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell us the name. Uh, uh, the name of your client. I would think that this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. The client has already broken the rules and acted outside of their prescribed rule. The rule? This person tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save himself. And this is a trespass that cannot be forgiven. You, <laughs> you, who gave you the right to be so high and mighty? But the gentleman who speaks just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? <laughs> ah, no, no, I uh, didn't say anything. The judge had better watch himself. this one again. The trust between you and your client. <clears throat> I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. These are roles and duties an assassin and his clients are to carry out. I'm sorry, but I was wondering about something you just said. Yeah. You said that your client had already broken the rules. A person who frames another is the worst kind. Nope, that is Francisco and Karma. I, I see when W we, and I'm like, oh, worst. No, not worst. When we <laughs> worst. did it last time, when we were, they were talking about um, the cat shoe. It was a lot of, like, a lowly butler will never, um, uh, should not speak of the master and his blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, try and get back into that. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm also trying to get, like, um, Widowmaker from Overwatch in my brain, mm. who also speaks French and is an assassin, so I'm like, get into that mindset, get into that type of voice, and go from there, and it's like, I keep going to Francisco for, for some goddamn reason. 
<clears throat> or fucking Nico Collard from fucking Broken Sword. <laughs> That's the other one. A person who frames another is the worst kind of person, of human. And that's why you feel you can betray this person? I have no trust relation with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Just my luck. An assassin with a conscience. Who would have figured? Now then, everyone, do you think you can understand my logic? This case just keeps getting better and better. If we can't, I'm afraid we can't proceed. Everyone understands your point, I think. Really. In that case, I believe I am prepared to disclose the information you seek. You've made it crystal clear that you value trust. Uh, the music just right. <laughs> zoomed in there. Uh, you value trust over all else. I believe we're ready. Excellent. What is it? Um, now I can't bring myself to ask the client's name. Huh? If you can't ask it, Mr. If you can't ask it, oh no, I'm going that way again. <laughs> if you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. <laughs> Witness. What is the name of your your client who requested the murder of Mr. Juan Corrida? That person name is. That person name. That person's name. Word. <laughs> it's just stood on the thing, right? Beep. Adrian Andrews. I can't say all of their voices at the same time, so. <laughs> Witness. That's not who you told me it, w it was earlier. Pray tell, what are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? That is Francisca again. <laughs> I should think I know my own client, and it is Adrian Andrews. I'm going back with Francisca. <laughs> what? <laughs> this can't be. On the phone earlier. On the phone earlier, that was strange. What's going on here? My guess is Mr. The Killer just stabbed Mr. Edgeworth in the back. <laughs> stabbed Edgeworth in the back? I'm sure in order to get the audience with this court, Mr. The Killer told him a different name. <laughs> Matt Ongarn, perhaps? I knew it. This... This is outrageous. I was deceived. I would have never brought forth this information if it wouldn't have benefited me. <laughs> this witness is telling a very serious lie. But, but you were the one who summoned this witness. <laughs> uh, you, Shelley the Killer. <laughs> he can lie to you. He cannot lie on this stand. <laughs> My testimony is the truth. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> My testimony is the truth. The defendant at the moment is Matt on guard. Am I correct? There we go. I wish to do... Uh, all I wish to do is help procure his acquittal. I'm going fuck it. <laughs> I'm going fuck it. <laughs> I go from German to sometimes French to all of a sudden Italian. I'm fucking... <laughs> Italian! Uh, Italian. <laughs> fucking Jesus. H. <laughs> H. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> all of a sudden it feels like we can actually win this. Yeah. The prosecution has failed to provide a motive and has instead provided this, uh, this suicide note, which is a forgery created by the victim. Furthermore, 
there is a possibility the defendant himself knew it was a fake. But most definitive of all, we have heard from the assassin himself the name of his client. Mr. D. Killer's, cli cl Killer's client, who requested the murder, was not the defendant at all. No. <laughs> With all this evidence, it is obvious to me that this means that Mr. Madongard is innocent. I seem to have caused you caused all, caused you a, a <laughs> bit of confusion. Please continue your discussion and call me when you have reached a verdict. I went German again. <laughs> Bailiff, please bring it, Miss Adrian Andrews in, in immediately. Bladder. What now? With the way this is going, on guard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Yeah, but... But Edgeworth is right. D-Killer's lying. And on guard, my client, I know he's guilty. I'm just gonna say this out loud in court. <laughs> Can I live with myself if I win this? You've kinda got your hands tied. Who would believe that the prosecution's own witness would absolve the defendant? <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. Shelley DeKiller is certainly lying under oath. How are you not sure that he just lied to you? <laughs> it wasn't me. Listen, everyone, please. The testimony just now, it was all one big lie. Then why are you sweating so much? She's fucking nervous as shit. <laughs> Miss Andrews. The suicide note may have been a fake. But that man, Matt, he's the reason Celeste died. And Juan's death it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. That testimony just now. You have to believe me. It was a horrible, horrible lie. Someone who lied in court before. You have to believe me. Mm, no. <laughs> Whether it's correct or not, I have no reason to believe you. In fact, you've given me many reasons to not believe you. But Mr. DeKiller himself has testified. He has named you as his client. No, that's not true. Oh. Right, you're... <laughs> No, I need to stop. I'm being... <laughs> I don't like her very much at all. Also, there is quite a bit of evidence that points to you. The knife and button donning the Nickel Samurai costume. But that's... That's... That's what? You even have a motive. We know that Miss Celeste Impacts was a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her. And you wanted revenge against the, the two who hurt her. Because they were dumb fuckboys. <clears throat> I would say you have plenty of reason to want them both dead. I... No. Mr. Wright. What? <laughs> the fuck do you want me to do? You... You know the truth. Tell them. Tell them the real story. Who the real killer is. Tell them. Please, help me. Even though you'll lie for yourself. I just fucking... Hypocritic bitch! Yes, I know the truth. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Why are you saying my name as a question? You know what I want! <laughs> I believe we've reached the end of this trial. Tell me what the fuck you know. Therefore, I ask the defense for any final words or opinions. I have to decide. Do I take the not guilty verdict to save and save Maya? Or do I throw this chance away and wait for Gumshoe's new evidence? What am I supposed to do? Phoenix. I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You're a lawyer. I know. But Matt on guard is a killer. A murderer. I can't let him get away with this. 
I can't let someone else take the fall. If I let Miss Andrews be convicted, then I'm no better than on guard. And even though I don't want to admit it, I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that I now know the real truth. He could have gotten on guard convicted so many times over, but he never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? I never thought about it until now. Oh my god, I trust him! <laughs> Fucking hell, Phoenix. Go to therapy. <laughs> he really does. Yes, you do. Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. D-Killer. Am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Of course. <laughs> right. But, but... That witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through witnesses lies and find the truth that is my job your honor <laughs> now that i trust bay again <laughs> there's still more evidence to look at and i'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom a miracle will occur yes this is how this is how courts work Sure. Very well, the trial will continue. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish connection with Mr. D-Killer. Right away, Your Honor. Has the verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk to you a little more. A boat. That's fucking Canadian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. Trying to do other accents from around the world. A boot. A boot. <laughs> <laughs> Stereotype. All you needed from me was the name of my client. What would? What could else could you need from me? Well, actually, we mu we would like to hear everything you know about this case. And that's how things are usually done. What is he talking about, usually done? I so badly wanted to start doing what you were doing earlier, but with the judge's voice. But, but shall, shall we have him testify about now? Uh, bitch, if you don't just sneeze, I'm gonna punch myself in the nose. I need to sneeze and my nose won't let me. Oh, no. I would say look up to the light, but there's no up light. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DeKiller, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people in your procedures. Is there any other... Is, is there any wonder... No one likes to go to court. Of course no one likes going to court! <laughs> Literally, it's like, so all this stuff about your life, we're just gonna bring it up. <laughs> Even if it's like, stuff you've moved past and all that, we're just gonna bring it all up and see what happens. As I have already... Just be you, bro. <laughs> just be As French. I've already... I'm trying. <laughs> trying! I've been doing every other accent underneath the sun, but my mm -hmm. freaking French. <laughs> At least French properly, fuck! As I've already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, I don't care at this point. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening! I don't know! <laughs> One thing I can simply cannot overlook is tempering with the scene of the crime. <laughs> is that French? I'm not. I'm trying friend. to think of. I'm like, has you ever. Like, it's the D's and T's are, like, messing with you right now. It, <laughs> I 
just funny because it's like... Say some fucking French words, maybe it'll do something! Grenouille citrouille! Grenouille citrouille! <laughs> my client did it to frame another for a crime. There you go, I'll stick to all this. I'm gonna go, uh, fucking... Fucking shuck! I'm gonna go fucking full on shuck, he said to uh, while pretending to be the first person to discover... Oh, the no... Lose the fucking fist! <laughs> oh, mama! <laughs> While pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene, for some reason I have to think Quebec. Duh. <laughs> Fuck France, I'm going Quebec French. Jesus Christ. Go for it. Adrian Andrews already knew from the beginning that the uh, one Carita was dead. <laughs> what did? <laughs> but even more appalling is the creation and the, the creation and uh, fuck. <laughs> you moved it forward when you weren't finished reading! I'm very much aware, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rule. Rule. <laughs> the rules. Uh. A stick call is the tabernacle of the court. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed, judge. <laughs> This is the most unexpected turn of events for the, um, fifth time now. However, this time everything has finally been revealed just as the last five have. Objection. What? Now I need to burp. Body, stop it! This is why I shouldn't eat before we stream. Yeah. Just a second, Your Honor. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Edgeworth. <sighs> We still have the cross-examination to do. Should I take water? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. But you don't need to question testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice here. Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Then I'll expose the lies that oh-so-beneficial testimony is... In that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. You haven't for a while, sir. That makes two of us. Yep. Holy oh God! you sleepy. He is conked out. He been conked out. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to testify, Mr. D-Killer. <clears throat> uh, what is the meaning of this, of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, your client had no idea that Juan Carita had been murdered. But how, how do you know that? From this wine glass, your honor. The glass. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mr. DeKiller's supposed client uh, thought Mr. Carita had only fainted. Which is why the glass of tomato juice was uh, poured for the victim. Hmm. But isn't that just part of Adrian Andrews' calculated plan? That's not possible, Your Honor. This glass. Blech. Too many- I've been listening to you for so long now, I'm hearing V's and everything in my head. <laughs> All the fucking Germans. V, T, and D are now messed up in my head. It's like me trying to keep, like, certain shit in my brain for Francisca's parts, and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, no more. It's like, fuck! My brain's just like, this glass bears, dude. <laughs> I'm like, this is uh, not the- the- no, no! <laughs> I'll let the water stay! <laughs> this glass bears the fingerprints of that person. Had this been planted, they- Never, they would never have left their fingerprints behind. I see your point. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion on this? <sighs> Strangely enough. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that said sex. 
<laughs> same and exact smashed together in my head. I thought I said, I had sex for just now. Sex thoughts just now. Yes. Alright. It's like that song with uh, Akon. I <laughs> just had sex. Oh dear. I fucking love that song. It's so dumb. Uh... Exact, exact thought just now. Freaking hell. Witness, how do you explain the strange phenomenon? Um. Isn't this a waste of time to ask about such a minor detail? It's not very uh, important point anyway, correct? <laughs> Every detail is important. Hello, Francisca von Karma. I know, she came back. I'm afraid you're mistaken. She came back with a vengeance. <laughs> If Adrian Andrews really is your client, as you claim, claim, <laughs> it's a bad click, then your client should have had knowledge of Mr. Cr Mr. Greta's death. I hate not being able to roll the R with him, but he wouldn't roll them. Yeah. <clears throat> if not, then that can only mean that Adrian and Adrian Andrews. <laughs> Was never your client at all. Ripperoni. How strange. <laughs> yes. Why is it that the attorney has yet to raise an objection at this absurd situation? Eh? Phoenix, if the killer figures out what we're up to, we're in real trouble. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm surprised. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just sorry. awkwardly like, right, I, yeah, I forgot we're doing this thing. Right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Joseph, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> well, that was an awfully weak objection for the two of you. Anyway, uh... I am positive there's a con there was a contradiction in that testimony. <laughs> well, the table have turned. <laughs> the tables? The table have turned. Plural. The tables have turned? There you go. <laughs> I know the correct phrasing is tables. I did table by accident. <laughs> the table have turned. The table have turned. <laughs> the turn have tables. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> The prosecution requests further testimony concerning when the request was taken. Very well. Right now I have to buy us more time. While we wait for the items D Killer left behind. I'm still fucked up by D Killer. <laughs> D Killer. D Killer. Already <laughs> like a D Killer. <laughs> to get here. Why the fuck did it do that? I don't know. Puns are great, but until fuck. you start saying it out loud, and then it sounds like you're saying the killer, and then grammar gets fucked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I the, just know. As the very bilingual person here, first time seeing, I was like, the 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 killer. The what's this? The fucking the shack is it? That tabernacle. It doesn't help that I'm actually back on doing the French lessons. Yeah, so that the, we're now, both fucked. <laughs> when I hear that, and I hear you doing different accents, and then I go into Edgeworth, I'm like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that the very outcome of this trial lies with those items. Taking, request taking, not taking requests. The request came to me oh, about a week ago. It was, a it was a request for a service on the night of the award ceremony. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few matters. MATTERS! <laughs> I'm doing that on purpose now, just to keep in track. That is what occurred. I trust my memory and believe I made no mistake. There are so many accents in this room right now. I mean, <laughs> hmm. So you physically met your client, huh? And that is correct. Meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. So we can place people in places now. Mm. Mm. And timestamps. I see. 
Well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. <clears throat> I like that it looks like I'm being sucked into, like, a vortex or something because I'm trying to keep my face in in frame, but I'm leaning. So it just yeah, looks you, you like keep, You keep leaning that way, and I'm like, I'm, I'm comfortable on the pillow, but it looks like something is just pulling me away into the abyss. So I'm like, no, comfy pillow. Uh, sheesh. So you physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Of course I did. What was that? What was that? With that brief pause. Press road. Witness, I would like for you to give us a, a few more details. I always meet the client as a matter of principle. I have never taken a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? That's because I value the trust between a client and myself above all else. And the only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking them in the eye. I don't know what the fuck the accent that was. Mm. It's French mixed with something else. I don't know what the fuck happened. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony just now of any importance? Uh, very. Uh, very much so, dear bud. <laughs> <laughs> Reading Phoenix in shock. <laughs> of course, it was very important, Your Honor. Of course, it was very important, there, Your Honor. Uh... That's exactly what's happening. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Canadian redneck Phoenix. Acadian, Jesus Christ! That's what. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. D Killer, uh, <laughs> I've met this guy before the murder, and uh, Nike, he is mistaken. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so fun. That's exactly what I I'm keep hearing. Spinning. What the fuck's happening? Uh, and um, now that I'm doing the French, it's easier for me to, to like have that in my head. Fuck. Fuck, you said it. It's good. It's Shuck Phoenix. <laughs> Shuck Phoenix, let's go. Shuck Phoenix! It's a Shuck Phoenix, let's go, Asti! Mm. <laughs> I wonder how I sound, Shuck. <laughs> oh, boys. If, if you're saying that age, uh, That's not what it says. If you're saying that his client really was Adrian Andrews... So you're saying. I... Wow. <laughs> Too much going on in my brain. <laughs> or not enough, I don't know which. I'm stumbling over accents and languages. <clears throat> oh, <fuck. laughs> I guess so. You see, it is just as I said. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in my brain. Ooh. I'm so lo Same, Phoenix. Oh, my neck hurts. <laughs> Who the heck am I supposed to be helping here? Calm down, Phoenix. Think carefully and relax. Shut up, you can't read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, she's a fucking spirit. <laughs> now then, would the witness please continue? I got something in my eye. You know I had the freaking rice mixed with the herbs and spice pate thing earlier? Yeah. Spice in the eye. Oh no. Spice in the eye. I got spice in my eye. Yes. What? <laughs> That's what you said, didn't you? Did I misunderstand you? I said, I said, uh, <laughs> last say, rewind 45 seconds. What did you understand? I thought you said you had spices in your eye. From the pate. The, from the pate, yes. The response you gave me was, yes. <laughs> seemed so weird. You oh. just like confirmed it for me. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sucks. I got spice in my eye. You know that thing I ate earlier? Yeah, like spices in my eye, huh? Spices. I got spice in my eye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless. Did I say it in my brain and not say it out loud? Is that what fucking happened? I don't know. So it's like. You Cause my brain, cause I thought I said you got spice in your eye, and then you repeated say I got spice in my eye. I'm like, oh yes, okay. 
like confirming to myself, okay, I did understand you correctly. <laughs> Either way, it sounded was funny. Oh, boys. Witness, I would like for you to give us a few more details. It's the same thing. I'm, uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Okay, it was okay. I got I got it correct. I was like, okay. did I get, click the right one? Yes. Uh, what do you mean by that? My <coughs> my question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I've already told you, Mister Wright. I did. It was only through talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. That is when I thought I can trust this person as a client. Did you throw it this? <laughs> <laughs> they say about talking face to face. Well, Mr. Wright, was the testimony just now of any importance? It was very important uh, there, uh, buddy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if I heard what I think I heard just now. Then I think I've got him. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> so done. I believe the testimony just now was of utmost importance. Oh, really? <clears throat> if that's the case... Witness, please include the statement just now in your testimony. Very well. Hi, Papo. The moment oh. I saw him... <laughs> you do a rolling? I thought I can trust this client as a person. This person has a client. Uh, words. Uh, uh, where is she? There she is. Objection! Objection! <clears throat> I would like to go over this one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at a bar and took the request at that time. Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy. How many times must I repeat myself? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but that's an impossible tale. W what? Shelly the Killer. Have you never met the no. real... No, you, you have... have never met the real Adrian Andrews. But why would you say that? Because you made one very big slip-up about her. So what is the issue? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh Chris! <laughs> je viens juste à pas savoir que j'ai fait wrong, Asti! <laughs> what did you just say now? About her? If you had ever met Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you what that she is a woman. Oh ho! <laughs> <laughs> Order! Order in the court! Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of the- WHAT DO YOU THINK?! <sighs> My nix. <laughs> My best boy. The witness testified to the following. That he always meets face to face with his clients when taking their requests. But he's never met Adrian Andrews in person. Yes, your honor. That's exactly the point. That means Mr. Tequila's client would not have been Miss Andrews. <laughs> He's sweating oil. <laughs> That's for disgusting. I forgot about that. Someone put a towel down. Mr. Edgeworth, I understand your logic on this one. Do you? Are you entirely sure? <laughs> However... Why would this bitch be leaking oil all over my court? Why would the assassin make such a basic mistake? He never saw her! I believe it had to do with her name, Your Honor. Her name? It's gender neutral, for God's sake. <laughs> androgynous. <laughs> yes, Adrian Andrews is, without a doubt, a very androgynous name. Hmm, yes, I see. Unluckily for Mr. Dekiller, 
the entire time he was on the stand, no one had had stated Adrian Andrews' gender. And so, he simply picked the wrong gen to go gender to go with. What? How do you not understand? What is going on? I just... Uh, what do you mean? We've clarified it in three different ways! Shelly to kill her! This court demands an explanation. Now you have a backbone towards the killer. Fuck's sake! Um... I think uh, somehow I must have mixed up my client with another. Does this mean you remember something different now? Yes, of course. Uh, please, if you would allow me to testify once more. I know he's just gonna sp spit more lies. I am now hearing the judge in shock. Fuck! <laughs> Very well, but this time, please, <laughs> please give us the truth and nothing but the truth. No, I... no that's not correct. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now I have the view mods that are stuck in my brain to help me with this. <laughs> the view mods are saying, me the ball is me the lair, don't me tire. <laughs> that is actually a song. <laughs> For some reason. And you wonder why we call it. Acadians, the rednecks of Canada. You tire? You mean I'll have on my tire? Oh! You see me, do me, we? I can't say shit though. I'm I'm a Newfoundlander, so. Yeah. Legit country bumpkin. Uh, yes, I remember. I took that request by mail. You said you never have. Yep. There have been times when I took a job without having met that my clients. Uh, the, the request was for the murder of one Carida and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at the end of the letter, I thought my client would be a, to be a man. Hmm, so you took this job through a letter which you previously denied any doing. Right. He didn't mention anything about a letter in his- Yes, he did! Specifically saying that he didn't do that shit. Which means he is definitely lying. Liar! Be careful, Phoenix. If you break the assassin's testimony completely, it's over for us. I know. I can't make him suspicious. <laughs> a little late, but... I think we're okay. Like, we can do this. As long as he's standing there across from... You over it now, Phoenix? <laughs> you finally over it? Oh, you realize you still love him? Great. No matter how strong of a punch I throw, he'll counter it. <laughs> now then! Under the guise of this homoeroticness, let's begin the cross-examination! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Gumshoe better be cutting up flowers as well as confetti this time. <laughs> Just sakura blossoms. <laughs> okay. Uh, two or three other things? Yes. <sighs> and what were those other things? A few other things uh, that I have nothing to do with this case. This keys? This keys. <laughs> this Damn. inhaled air. Air. <laughs> I meant to say hair. <laughs> hair, not air. Air is normal. Air is good. <laughs> good for, go, go for the body and good for the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What should I do? Should I let him slide with that? It'd be really bad if I pushed his buttons the wrong way and got him mad. Press further! Whether or not they're related to this case is for the court to decide. Mr. Attorney? Yes? Everything I have said from the beginning has been nothing but a beneficial for your client, which is why I wonder what is pushing you to continue with this cross-examination. Could it be uh, that you're uh, planning uh, to betray your own client? That's... I smell the scent of a backstabber. 
Backstabber! <laughs> I should, uh, and should you turn, around, turn out to be one? Wait. Uh oh. This is looking really bad. I shouldn't press my luck. Alright. I have to think is this worth pursuing? Yes. Witness, this is a very important matter. Please cooperate and tell us what these other jobs your client requested were. If it is really that important, I suppose I don't, I don't have a choice. The bear figurine. Figurine! I don't know what happened there. The figurine! The figurine! <laughs> the bear figurine. After the assassination of the target, I was to find it that the figurine. I was told that this job was just as important as the actual killing. And where was that fair green? <laughs> oh, it. I was inside Mr. Carita's suitcase. And then... <laughs> was <that a> key? <laughs> what did you do next? God damn it. <laughs> I handed it over to my client right away. You gave it to your client? Interesting. Uh-huh, very interesting. Hmm, this information certainly sounds important to me. Witness, please include what you just said in your testimony. As you wish. One of these was to find the bear figurine and give it to Angelina Drews. Uh, that is impossible because it was not uh, with her. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Shelly to kill her. If you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside it. Uh, this item? I see where you're going. Yep, that's where I'm going. Where is everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? I feel like this is just his perpetual thought process. Your Honor, please think back to Miss Andrews' testimony. I was going to burn it for her sake. I'm still hearing shock. <laughs> Even if for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Miss Andrew's hands, I'm sure she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it. We're on Order. a fucking roll. So that's. Where you two were going. So by the very fact that the suicide note is still inside the bear, tells us that your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. Wh which means... You dumb fuck. It means, Your Honor, that it is, is impossible for Adrian Andrews to have been the client. Oh ho! <laughs> More orders! Mr. Phoenix. That Mr. Phoenix Wright! Mr. Phoenix Wright! Uh, I, I'm sure I mentioned this before. How I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross examination has clearly demonstrated uh, something to me. You, you must wish to break your end of our agreement. I like that it paused on Edgeworth for a sec, dot dot dot, just to yeah. prove that he's just like, you can't hurt my boyfriend. <laughs> no, that's not. That's enough. If uh, if that is your intention, uh, there is only one thing for me to do. Self-destruct, bitch. <laughs> Wait, please. Uh, gentlemen, ladies, uh, please excuse me. I have a matter that I must attend to. <laughs> no, please. Not that. Please wait. Uh, Mr. Attorney, bring this trial to a speedy end and I may stay my hand. Otherwise. Uh... Um. Phoenix? <laughs> He's super serious. <laughs> Mr. Wright, are you. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. I didn't understand this wit-burst-outness. 
<laughs> Whitbert outness. <laughs> this witness's outburst just now. <laughs> Do you think there's a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should... Edgeworth, we can do this. We can't. Can't do this. I can read. <laughs> we'll keep this up. Maya, she'll... <laughs> They're reading each other by just looking in each other's eyes at this point, because even he's <laughs> like, shit! The prosecution... I... What has come over, everyone? Even your... The prosecution... rests. What is going on around here? The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. What? <laughs> the whole court is like, what the shit's happening right now? And I don't blame them. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is... Reading, I can do this. This is a most unusual situation. <sighs> if the prosecution rests with no further questions, then prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. If that is the case, then even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate. That would mean that Shelley DeKiller's client is Adrian Andrews. Yeah, pretty shitty situation. <laughs> yep. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. If I end the trial here, right now, then your client, Matt on guard, will be declared innocent. And in his place, Adrian Epps. Just so you know, I'm reminding you of this thing that I would never do in any other case until now. Alright. Miss Andrews would be charged with murder. Prosecution has no further questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remarks. Bailiff, please bring the defendant Matt on guard to the stand. The item from the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. We tried as hard as we could, but it looks like our time has run out. I can't believe it. The outcome lies in your hands. Dude, did the old guy finally decide? What the fuck you calling old? <laughs> to be honest, I can't think of you as a truly innocent and and good person. You have done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. But at least on the charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. Oh, here we go. For some reason, he's showing his true face, dumbass. Could have just kept up the dude bro, dumbass thing, right? and it probably would have worked for you, but you gotta be a fucking diva about it. So I guess even the old fuddy duddy figured me out. M Mr. Ungard? What an atrocious lawyer I have. <laughs> giving his own client up like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap. It's just as atrocious, don't you agree? I like that he suddenly becomes a vampire as well. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. This completely... Yes, I'm absolutely helping myself and this would totally happen in real life. <laughs> this fucking game. Yeah. If you'd kept up dude bro for like 10 more minutes, you'd be fine. Yeah. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Should I side with justice? Or should I save Maya's life? Maya would never forgive me. <laughs> you better make unkind of guilty sentence, okay? But... But if I did that, Maya will die. But if I say he's innocent, 
then Miss Andrews will be charged with the mur as the murderer. Do I say he's guilty or not guilty? Either choice I make, someone's life is going to end. I mean, change. Fucking Uno reverse, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it all hinges on what I choose. To be fair, he is the master of fucking Uno reversing everything. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. If the person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews, then your client, Mr. Matt on guard, is innocent. <laughs> There's no need to ask, old man. After all, my lawyer is going to say what I want, aren't you? Right. I can't. I can't do this. But I have to decide something. Yeah! I can't count on the evidence to help any help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. My client, Matt on guard, is... Guilty. The fucking suspense, bro. <laughs> We are waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright. Not on guard. Your client deserves an answer. <laughs> Maya, I'm sorry. Matt on guard is... <laughs> Francisca has come with the evidence! <laughs> Francisca von Karma? Matt on guard is Francisca von Karma? <laughs> You'll see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Oh, now your accent's gonna be fucked up. Oh, yeah, it is. This is why you should never uh, take your eyes off that scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The final pieces, do you have them? You should know better than to ask that, Miss Mr. Miles Edgeworth. For some reason, I can go into Von Karma very easily now. <laughs> Fuck. I had so much difficulty, now it's like, yep. Brain's good to go, let's go! Mm, and then French is like, hi, you can't do your own fucking accent. <laughs> Fuck. Did I have to go like full on like chiacon? Les poissons. Les poissons, puis uh, les, les Québécois, puis tabarnak. Avant karma is perfect in. Perfect! <laughs> Avant karma, karma is perfect in, ed in every way. The evidence is here. In perfect she is condition. now slightly shook. <laughs> Help me, Lord. And don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine, and his injuries are minor. All of the items are inside this. Poor <laughs> Gumshoe. What a filthy old coat this is. To be fair, Gumshoe does need a new coat, but still. He needs a new everything. Yeah, he does not get paid enough. That's Gumshoes. I can spot his tattered, rag his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for his ugliness, but there is nothing else to wrap the items in. Fought long and hard this whole trial. And even in the end, I couldn't make a choice. <laughs> I'm gonna forewarn you for when we get to apologize eventually, you are gonna have to learn German. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Can do. Because there's two of them that have German. <laughs> I will figure it out then. Yep. <laughs> All for what is inside that ra raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? This trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand out my verdict. I do not believe that any evi evidence presented now would change the outcome of the- You're a shit judge! What? Objection. Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence uh, down to the last. I request that Miss Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Hmm. I suppose you're right, Mr. Edgeworth. 
I grant permission to do so. I just decided to scare you for no reason. Right. However, this this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted into the Cool, that's fine. Now, Miss Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of <laughs> These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm. He must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> we are doing pretty good. <laughs> Our voices are fucked. <laughs> they make no sense. They make zero sense. But we're having fun either way. <laughs> Somewhere am I... Oh, yeah. Just... She tried... She couldn't do her own accent earlier, and it's amazing. It's going pretty good. Somewhere. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see. I can't even do French and I'm French. Like, uh. <laughs> And then I go try to go back to doing the shitty German that I do, and then it's like, nope, I can't do shitty German anymore. Shitty German? Shitty German. <laughs> I can't do any of the accents that I could typically. Ah, oh, boys. <laughs> there will be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle. Stop relying on external forces to help you, Phoenix! I'm sure of it. Some otherworldly thing will save me instead of just making a choice! Eh? No, we're not. No. <laughs> this roommate. is my roommate. <laughs> eh. That is all we can hope for. The first item is a pistol. 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 <laughs> Okay. Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with this case? Probably. Does that pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform the ballistic test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe there is something to do with this case. At least with me. Ah. She got shot in the shoulder. <laughs> That's the pistol that he used to shoot you, isn't it? That is what I believe, yes. Oh. I try to. I, I, I'm not consistent depending on, like, time of day. Life has been a little hectic lately as well, so... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we tend to just be like, okay, Thursdays are the day we... Stream this. We like, stream, We stream yeah. Phoenix right. Other days, if it's too hectic and we have too much to do, sometimes she will, sometimes she won't. Depends. Yeah. The only days I definitely don't stream is on the weekends, and that's just because I tend to be quite busy on the weekends. Well, the only days you can get stuff done that doesn't have to do with work. Yeah. I also work a full-time job, so... <laughs> I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. I'm sure it will be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Francisca. It's probably not going to help us very much. By the way, your friends also stream? Uh, he does not right now. I think you were planning to eventually. Yeah, I might do like old games, just like old Zelda games and stuff for fun. I might do Sims, honestly. <laughs> we just need to help. I just need to help him set up stuff with yeah. his PC eventually. We have some rearranging to do in my room. But as of right now, he does not stream. He streams with me, <laughs> with Phoenix Wright at least. And other games, depending. <laughs> She was playing Kiwami one day and she was like, Look, my voice is killing me. Can you help me voice some characters? Freaking Yakuza. Pistol added to the court record. The second piece of evidence is this videotape. I bet the killer took. I keep hearing the killer, I hate it! Eh, the killer! The killer! <laughs> took that from on guard's mansion. Yes. Have you checked the contents of the tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. So we don't even- okay. <laughs> well, she ran here. <laughs> I know. It's just so like- She had no time to Here's a bunch it. of stuff, but we don't know if it's gonna be of use. <laughs> oh yeah. But I would speculate that the tape is very important. 
Why would you say that? I need to burp. Fuck. Fuck you, judge. <laughs> because he came back to his hideout for this. D killer went back for it. That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers on the site. It's good you have interest in all games. I wish I had the setup. I wish their setup would be arranged soon. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I need to build <laughs> two four foot by two foot by two foot enclosures for my reptiles to put behind in place where her shelf currently is, move all the DVDs that are on there onto wall shelves that I need to buy, and then I will have the setup correct so I can move my computer where my plants currently are, because then I can move the plants where the current smaller tank is. I need to just... There's a lot of stuff he needs to get to be able to rearrange the room properly. So that way the cat doesn't get to the plants. Or the spider. Or the spider. Yeah. It's basically just going to be a big game of Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Surely the killer is no ordinary man. Do you only stream this game or any other games as well? I... Well, this is, this is a game I stream with him to do practice voicing and whatnot. It's mainly just for funds. And also his reactions are fucking funny. Okay, she knows how this game goes and all that. I yeah. I'm I have never played Phoenix Wright before, but I'm having fun just going along with it. Um, but when I am not, it's, we either do this or the Yakuza games. She on her own will do stuff like uh, Horizon uh, oh, Zero Dawn and what was the new one? Well, I finished Horizon Zero. I finished the both Horizon games. What was the second one called? Horizon Forbidden West. Forbidden West. Yeah, I finished those two, and then we I... also need to get back to the one we did when we were on when we got COVID. <laughs> Which one? Counselor. What was it? Oh, the council. The council. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go back to the council at some point. I also gotta go back to playing. Um... Resident Evil was something you were doing. Oh, I finished all the Resident Evil games except for Code Veronica, mm. but I also fucked up my save files. So I kind of got to play back to where I was. And then at some point, me and Nat were planning on streaming um, uh, Resi 5. Mm -hmm. Because that one's co-op and it's it plays better as a co-op game. Cool. Um, and then I got to finish... Uh, Packing um, Jedi: The Fallen Order. Mm. I see. So, what games you play while streaming? Oh yeah, I, I, I answered yeah. that question. <laughs> Brain. But yeah, I play a variety of fucking games, <laughs> except for sports. I don't like sports games or racing games, unless it's Mario, Mario Kart. Well, yeah, but I think I don't think anyone dislikes that game. No. It's just kind of like, eh, it's not my favorite, but I, it, I'll play. <laughs> The killer is no ordinary man. I don't know if I said it or not, but I'll say it again. The last piece of evidence is this bad boy's uniform. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? I was just gonna say, I was like, this doesn't look accurate. Yeah. Was that used during the crime? I'm almost certain that it was. There was even a pair of black leather gloves in, in one of its pockets. There's no doubt about it. D. Keller was wearing this on the night of the murder. There is one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And what is that? There is a button missing from... missing on this uniform. A button? <laughs> I think that Edgeworth is just like, Who the fuck cares? <laughs> It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it. What are my thoughts about using customized stuff for my channel? I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> what do you mean by customize? Is gonna be uh, the the answer to that question. What do you mean? <laughs> like you mean like templates or like freaking my brain. Anyways. <laughs> it would provide us uh, an interesting clue. Elbow's uniform added to the court record. That is all I have to present, Your Honor. Hmm. 
It's just as I thought. Mm. Customize a logo, banner, overlay, and things for your channel. It's a eh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I already have a logo and a banner. Overlays is a thing that, like, at some point I might get one, but right now I'm not. I'm not rushed, honestly. <laughs> and what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we're... We... Bleh, <laughs> were we under normal circumstances? Yeah. These items from Shelly to Killer's hideout would be very important clues, but, but because it's not, I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> However... Our question is not who did the, the killing. It is who is the client. Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us anything about that. Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please allow me to examine this new evidence. I also do graphic professionally since about the last four to five years of commissions. Would you like to see some of my recent artworks? I don't mind looking at them. Overruled. This court already has the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? This dude. <laughs> is this the end? Give me a second. I'm gonna do it on my phone. Because I do have Twitch and I can... Because if I click on there, it's going to mm. bring this down. So I'm just yeah. going to do it on my phone. Give me a second. Phoenix. I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? There we go. I, fuck off, activity. Jesus. Would you like all of this information before you do something simple? Excuse you, Mr. Phone, being loud and shit. Yeah, me trying to fucking do something. It's like, hi, I'm gonna be fucking. God damn it! <laughs> what is happening? Your phone's having a seizure. Or something. Fucking hell. Okay, yeah. I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. I have another way of doing this, but you have to make that miracle happen. I also have it on here because some. Sometimes when I, I will actually say that I'm canceling for that day unless I'm in too much pain to get to my phone. Uh, brain channel. No, Galtosichromus. <laughs> oh, technology. Oh, technology. But no matter how hard you think about it, don't open the. It's oh, you are. <laughs> Fine, open the stupid app. Fuck you. Uh, it shouldn't be this difficult. You would think not. Try, for my sake. Think of, just think about it for a second. Uh, now I'm trying to remember my freaking Discord. What is wrong with me? <laughs> There's two ways out of this situation. <laughs> Knock some shit down. <laughs> Good job. Uh, stay. No fall, how dare. No fall, how dare. Two. There we go. Frickin Damn, hell. dude. It took forever to do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Let's carry on, shall we? The first. This giggly bitch. 
Make Manangard wish for the bottom of his soul of his soul for a gr guilty. Grilty. Grilty. I can word, I swear. <laughs> huh? The killers always place his client's wishes first. If Ungard w himself wished to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. That may be true, but that's asking me to do the impossible. The second way. Force the killer to end his contract with with Ungard. If the killer were to no longer think of Ungard as his client, then he would let Maya go. Mia, that's even more impossible, even though he told us exactly how he would disown someone for, as a client. Mm -hmm. He is a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else. I know both of these seem like impossible feats at first, but if you could make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. Or hard work. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he was just shown, he's not accepting them. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what always worked for us? The other side? What does she mean? You mean to turn things around? Phoenix, the, just, the judge said he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, who does need it? The person who needs the evidence. Yep. I saw it there. It popped up on the phone. <laughs> if it'll freaking hello. There we go. There we go. The judge, the defense, prosecution, and the judge. We have seen all the pieces of evidence. And that is how we have come to know the truth. But there is one person who has yet to see them all. And that person doesn't know the truth. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. I see you. <laughs> There are no objections this time, correct? There's always an objection! <laughs> now then, I will pronounce my verdict! Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? Objection! Cheers! <laughs> I've already told you, Mr. Wright. This court does not need any more evidence. I'm not saying it. Uh, I'm not saying it is us that needs the evidence, Your Honor. Then you want to show the evidence to that person? Yes, keep it strangely vague. Right. Yes, Your Honor. Please, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, for you to ask such a, a <laughs> with such passion... I will grant you one last chance. If you ask with passion, you'll get what you want. Right. It's like, it's the new, um, <laughs> use, <laughs> what, use the nice words, or the magic words. Please and thank you. Yep, instead it's just, ask. So much passion. <laughs> one chance. Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. That's impossible. To turn the whole situation around in... We've done it multiple times, Edgeworth. I think we're fine. One try. That's all I will permit. I have to try and remember. Mr. Plain! While that's happening, I will do a quick little save just in case I fuck up by pure <laughs> chance. <laughs> just in case. Better save than sorry. Do it twice. Everything that's happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix, think. There must be a way to save Maya while taking on guard down at the same time. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show the evidence to? Oh. 
Shalidi killer. I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Um... I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to that witness. Hey, Liv! Please bring in the transceiver from earlier. I love that they just bring it in and sit it down like it's a person. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can back to the voice now again. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Maya, she's okay, right? Didn't I tell you that to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence. Yes, one is all I need. Yeah. <laughs> I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was most irrigatable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that t videotape. Uh -huh. I thought so. I'm afraid it seems to have failed in that. I seem to have failed in that regard. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, buddy! <laughs> Sammy! If I want to have things done for their channel as he's planning to start, just let me know in Discord, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Cool. Cool. I was sternly told by my client to not watch it. So I have absolutely no idea. I went more feminine, but at this point, <laughs> as you know, I, that's the only I can get the French going. For some reason. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? There was a video camera hidden at the scene of the crime. Or at the crime scene. <laughs> Your actions were being recorded. But what? Is that true, Mr. Wright? Maybe it isn't my schedule. I'm just stressed, so I came back for a second. <laughs> Fair enough. I feel you. Who, who was it that planted a camera? Well, the only person who could have placed the camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. <laughs> oh, he pissed. <laughs> That was Adrian Andrews. And no one. Be quiet and listen. You're on. Yes, sir. Your <laughs> client specified a place and time for you, isn't that right? Yes. That was so they could film you. <laughs> I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? Well, I would like to know why. Sir, what do you think? Why did Matt on guard film the crime scene? The reason why he did that is my ticket out of this whole mess. Mm -hmm. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film this, the crime scene. They... I love how it's like... One wanted to uh, wanted to see one get his, didn't trust your skill, but the very obvious one is blackmail. <laughs> you know. You know, you ain't sleeping when you're stressed before you even try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. General anxiety disorder. Uh, it's, it, it's not fun. <laughs> Insomnia is a very good friend of mine. To be fair, back when uh, the whole thing that was happening the multiple months prior, I noticed something which was like, I'm sleeping way better now. Mm. And it was probably because of the stress with that person. 
Most likely. Now that I think about it, because I kept having like hard, some days I would have a very hard time trying to fall asleep. Well, because you don't know if someone's going to come home angry. Yeah. That does a lot to your brains. Yep. But now I am sleeping very, very well, actually, <laughs> which is fantastic. It's one eleven a.m. I gotta wait. Bro! Go to bed. I want to head pat you. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> you got st just enough time to get an acceptable amount of sleep. Go lie down. Shut all the lights off. <laughs> I know, and it fucking sucks. Shut all the lights off. Just listen to, like, some... What are they called? Singing bowls or some shit. Something I used to do is I used to... Um, back when I was in high school... I would put like nature sounds mm. and just have my TV, like this TV here set to complete darkness. Yes. So no light gets out, but I would still hear the music. Almost every week I have at least one stress thing in, then I go try to sleep. Oh no, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Yeah, no. Did you already read this? I forgot. No. Oh. Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you and this is what he, uh, what they said. Mr. On guard. <laughs> but I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. Least of all assassins. Pretty fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, the worst I've had is basically she will just talk to me at like four in the afternoon and find out I've been awake since four the previous day. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just don't sleep. Because all of a sudden he's like conking out and he's like all fucking out of it. And all of a sudden I'm just like, what? Did you go to sleep? No. I didn't sleep. Who is sleep? <laughs> Who is sleep? There's no sleep. There's only Ronan. <laughs> First time Ronan sees me being serious and not joking around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, if someone was joking around 24-7, I'd be concerned about their mental health if they couldn't have a serious moment. Yeah the matter with my brain it's called stress and being stressed out over an exam believe me i've been we've all been there at some point yeah especially the high school and just schools in general college high school university fuck <laughs> a what i don't i don't own that <laughs> you should you should eventually hopefully obtain it and speak to a therapist to declutter the the way i uh the way i see it is um uh, I re recently requested, uh, like, a weekly therapy session. Uh, I'm just a perfect high school. <laughs> <laughs> I, I requested a, a weekly therapy session, not because any there's anything currently wrong, but because I know what happens if I don't go. And it gets to the point where it's almost like, hey. Good job. Perfect. Yeah. Anything that's going on in your life, literally just poof. And don't worry about them being, like, offended by trauma dumping. Just talk to them. Just say what's on your mind. Yeah. Sometimes just having another person hear what you're struggling with can make you feel better. Yeah. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. Right. Yes, that's where the video comes in. And with that, I can keep him at bay. He's on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Do you just, him if I want? From my oh, angle. He's, not. he's just flat. He is on the bed. He's just flat. Oh. <laughs> I legit thought my dog was on the floor. No, he has just turned into a piece of paper. That's full on like Paper Mario. <laughs> or Peppa Pig. That's just, it's just like. Going whoop. to the toilet helps me feel sleep. <laughs> Going to the toilet helps me feel sleep. Oh, buddy. <laughs> what? Can someone please do the math in the meantime of my sleep? <laughs> He's going to the washroom. Yes, but uh, go back up. They want us to do the math on uh, how many hours they have to sleep. In the meantime of my sleep, was What? Please do the math oh, in the, the meantime. Math. Where is the number? Oh, there we go. Um, if it's... Well, at this point, if I go by the minutes, yeah. it would be 116 approximately. You would need, if you fall asleep as soon as you can, you would at least have, maybe, you gotta be up at, wake up at 7.20. Mm -hmm. So at, if it reaches the 20 mark minute, 
you would have approximately five hours of sleep, six hours of sleep. And if you follow the 6-2 run rule, you're good. So Yeah. That's if you go to bed. <laughs> like Immediate. And you somehow pass the fuck out, like, right now. <laughs> but that would also require to stop stressing, which is the difficult part. Even getting four hours is better than none. Getting yeah. a couple of REM cycles is worth it. Yeah. Should I read? Oh. Mm, yes. Okay. Like, before I fucking click enter. <laughs> Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. What do you have to- What do you have to say to that, Shelly to kill her? Are you now crying? Or more sweat? Oil sweat. Rage sweat. Rage sweat. Oh-ho! <laughs> oh, and now he's just pissed. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by a natural. That's the kind of person they are. Cozy boy. Hey, Fluper. Your client is a person who... Bro, I need to bathe you. You fragrant. <laughs> I'm a fucking zombie. You can have five to six hours. About five hours. If you go right now, shut everything off, and meditate the fuck out of some freaking singing bowls. Yeah, you have approximately, if you would pass out, like, at the 20 minute mark. If you somehow pass out, you would get at least six Shh. hours of sleep. I already feel better. Cool. Go. Lie down. Go lie down. <laughs> go go <And> sleep. <laughs> chill your brain. Don't think about anything. Don't even think about sleeping. Just be like, hmm, peaceful place. Go. Attends de coucher, tabarnak. <laughs> okay. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots of how to use the people around them. Good night. Good night. Again. <laughs> to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. <sighs> that is the short answer of your client. Yep, talk to you next time. The killer is a pas mal pissé off, Lusty. <laughs> I have one question for the witness. Yes. You told uh, us one thing numerous times during your testimony. You said that you detest traitors most of all. Yes, that is right. But what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. And then... That client would become my next target. For the honor of the killer name, even if it takes an eternity, I will follow that person to the ends of the earth to exert my punishment. RIP on, on guard! Holy fuck! <laughs> this guy's gonna do a petty crime just to go to jail and kill him. I think he's gonna declare himself guilty, is what's gonna happen. <laughs> I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Mr. Matanga, would you like to <laughs> declare yourself guilty now? <laughs> ah, I got it! This is how we'll turn this case around. Yeah, Phoenix! Mr. Eight. Yes? My contract with my client is now over as of now. I seem now to... Now over as of now? <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. What the? I'm not an item! <laughs> Maya, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness. We're <laughs> Um, this trial appears to have come to its conclusion. He just like looks around like, right? <laughs> Anyone want to say some more? <laughs> However, I actually am sort of... I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness and... Owie. Uh. <laughs> 
It's my karma. Where did that? <laughs> she always has you in her sights. Was that Edgeworth? No, that was actually Francisco. Was she just hiding behind him? She's hiding somewhere and she whipped him. <laughs> now, I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. <coughs> oh, he's sweating. <laughs> Mr. On Guard, it looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You'll finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. <laughs> Sometime in the near future, uh, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. I think he, might, he may or may not have shit a brick. <laughs> Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Why? Now then, Your Honor. The verdict, if you please. Is this alright with you, Mr. Wright? Have at her. You were desperate to do it before. Now you're asking me? Right. We have finally reached the end of this, of a very long battle. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there is no escape for him now. Go on, Phoenix. Each whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. What do you want? Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? No matter what he's... It's it's gonna go pretty much the same way. It's just gonna have, like, di different dialogues. That he's guilty! Fuck this bitch! Okay. Matt on guard. Even though I'm a lawyer, I cannot make your crime disappear. I think a guilty verdict is appropriate here. Me? My wonderful self? Wonderful self? Guilty? Even if you got an acquittal, the instant you set foot outside the detention center, your life would be in danger. You would be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you would be deader than a dodo bird. <laughs> no matter which way you look at it, you can't run away from your crime anymore. Oh, that's why. You need to speak to someone too. Well, there is, a, <laughs> there is some mental help that is typically in a correctional facility, so he can have fun with that. <laughs> As <laughs> always, <laughs> it looks like we have uncovered the real truth again. But I thought the last truth was the real truth, and the ball. And the ball. <laughs> we? I don't remember you helping out much in much in this. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? I have left Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of <laughs> whip leather right about now. I think he's injured himself enough. Send him to the hottie clinic, he'll be fine. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that was a close one, wasn't it, witness? Yes. I plan to repay my debt to society for my own crime, Mr. Y Mr. Mr. Your Honor. Mr. Your Honor, Your Honor. <laughs> the first time I was called to the witness stand during this trial, all I felt was despair. You seem to still only feel despair. You acted so selfishly. You also need to see a mental health professional because good I, lord woman. Everyone needs to see a mental health professional. Everyone in this thing is poor me. It's like, yes, I'm sure you've been through shit, but oh my god. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went at her. I guess she was trying to for, uh, forgive him for what he did. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. 
but after that, when I was alone at that detention center, that was the first time I really saw myself for who I am. <laughs> this, this game's really trying to be like, just give them tough love and then leave them alone when they're suicidal. <laughs> and today, when the two of you used your combined strength to convict Matt, I was I felt like I had finally been saved. Really? No! I refuse this fucking backwards ass mental bullshit! <laughs> if someone's suicidal, tell them you don't care and leave them alone. Yeah, alright. And they'll show up smiling and thanking you because you gave them some tough love and made them pull their boots up by their bootstraps. No. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm, re <laughs> I'm really happy that you two were in charge of this case. This is not real. This is... No. <laughs> I know it's a game, but fuck you. <laughs> I really don't know how to express how- I really don't know how to express how I feel at this point. Do you ever? <laughs> this is- this is the first time I felt comfortable with myself, with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. See a therapist, please. <laughs> well, now that we've told a mentally ill woman to essentially go fuck herself and healed her with that. It looks like we've finally resolved everything at last. As for myself, there are still a few things I'm confu- How? But everyone seems to be in good spirits, so I should be able to- Oh my god. <laughs> so that's good enough for me! <laughs> Whether this is true or not, I will pass down a sentence. That is all, this court is adjourned. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All of you, go get help. Please take your hair down. It's very, very weird. You are great out there, Phoenix. That's you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> what I did out there was right, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is the first time you've not gotten your client off. That sounds... <laughs> <laughs> you got them a, ver a guilty verdict this time. But you have to look past all that to what's really important. Where the fuck is Maya? Can, can we just go see make sure she's okay? You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yep, your sister still might be... Like, we gotta go. <laughs> She's starving, literally. Yes, I understand now. Phoenix, think back for a second. I'd rather just go buy her some burgers! <laughs> think of the moment before Miss Von Karma arrived with the final piece of evidence. I love how you almost went into Von Karma's accent when you, said, when you said her name. I know. I know. I know. Think Phoenix. about it. Oh, save me, Puppo. <laughs> save me, Puppo. The dumb, I can't handle it. I can't read, but they be dumb. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Incredible decision? You had to choose that uh, yeah. guilty and, you know. Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. Bro. I can't count on the evidence anymore. Yeah, basically it was just us choosing uh, guilty. Yeah, sure, so it was just it's my life. My client is, my guard is, and then Von Karma's like, ha-ha! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Flippy. Is he guilty, or is he not guilty? Those were your choices, then. And your answer? Your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you did it. It doesn't yeah. matter. Edworth. I have good news. Maya's now s <laughs> Please feed her. <laughs> Please, someone feed her. Safe in police custody. Really? <laughs> oh, there's pearls. Pearls? You're telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? 
Why would I lie to a child? Yes, she's quite safe. To be fair, she was not a child not a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> she's on her way here as we speak in a tr a, tr a troll patar. A troll patar. <laughs> Fucking this game is costing me my sanity. Patrol car. And next week we start number three. Fuck. <laughs> And you, child, need to go to sleep. You did it! You really did it, Mr. Nick! And you also need therapy. Be she needs therapy for a lot of things, and the, one of the biggest ones is what happened with her mother. Your mother, your your cousin being kidnapped, and following me around for days about a murder-suicide bullshit thing. You heard lots of shit. Why you punch me, though? <laughs> Myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. Ah, why? Go home and nap. Fuck's sake. Uh, thanks. Oh. What's wrong? Miss Fun Karma. Oh. Sup. <laughs> um, about earlier. Uh, thanks. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you still smelling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You, you lost. Your perfect win score has now been crushed, and yet you are still happy. Da. <laughs> da. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you? I dare. <laughs> don't worry, she may in time. After all. I was like that myself until a year ago. Edward! <laughs> that sounded like Cartman. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! For my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. Can we stop with this? I used every dirty trick in the book. And so my win record remains spotless. But a man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. It almost sounds like something Stolas would say. No shit. <laughs> I fought him in my usual manner and tasted my very first defeat. Why am I in the same position as if I asked? Good question. <laughs> I felt like I had lost everything because of that. Ah, sheesh. And then... I had to suck his dick. <laughs> it was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. Oh my god. And I was saved. By that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Because, you know, I thought if I'd left it vague and made you think I killed myself, that it would be helpful. We clearly are all doing very well mentally. Hmm. As well you should have. Go fuck yourself! A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. Choke on your bow. But that was not what happened. I fell in love instead because this is gay as fuck and I love it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> the drama is obnoxious, but I'm here for it. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And that's why I came back with a ring for you, Phoenix. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. Oh my god. <laughs> what foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we do so... Objection! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I had enough of your drama! <laughs> shit! Made me think you were dead and shit? Now you come back and still be in a drama queen? Fuck's sake! Just give me a kiss so we can move on to the next game, because everyone's queer baiting us, even though it's super obvious! 
No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his un undying faith. Such a gay like melodrama. What it is. Shit? Without even saying any, any like like you don't need to say shit. anything. It's just so gay. <laughs> Before I knew it, I began to trust that man as well. What? You trusted your enemy? He's not my enemy. He's my boyfriend. It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. The truth will always find a way to <laughs> make itself known. The only thing we can do is fight <laughs> fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the par paradoxes one by one. It's never easy we claw and scratch for every inch of that dick. <laughs> we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This I promise you. Oh boy. The truth. You shouldn't be here for this. <laughs> Go home and sleep. The truth. Yes. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid Mr. Wright is not going to be with your cousin. <laughs> she is not his special someone. <laughs> Tis I. <laughs> Tis I. Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, yes, that's the reason why prosecutors and defense attorneys exist. Oh. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? Me and my melancholy bullshit. This man who uh, stopped projecting. <laughs> Only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away to... Th into the night! <laughs> Go grab Edgeworth his steed. Right, Mr. Nick? Oh, fucking no, man. Go, go bed. Go nap. Do the things. My boyfriend's having a breakdown. <laughs> you really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with is because I believed in the things you said to me. Tiny. I'm adorable! <laughs> Tiny Edgeworth! <laughs> All those years ago. And you... You betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. You decided he died. And told people he was deceased. You dumb. At least that's what I told myself, and other people. You pathetic fool. Not pathetic, I'm just gay. <laughs> Miss Vankara! I don't want to hear the wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A Von Kamara is someone who is destined to be perfect. <laughs> uh -huh. Mas Edgeworth, you're no longer worthy. You're no longer worthy of being a Von Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over. Again. Therapy. She threw some what? <laughs> Again. Speak to a therapist. Francisca threw something on the ground just now. <laughs> this is an electromagnetic receiver. Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? I'll return this to the precinct later. That's it's worth I'll return this to the precinct later. <laughs> Something else. Ah! Isn't that Miss Van Karma's whip? It's ours now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. Oh, boys. Only in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. Oh, my God. <laughs> she left us... <laughs> A gift! Oh. You should keep this, right? <laughs> Leave it under your pillow and think of me. <laughs> I don't think he would think of Edgeworth. He would definitely think of Ankara and then shudder. 
Okay. Nick! Hi. <laughs> yeah, we've been standing here for like 45 minutes, even though we could have run to help you. Well, she was being brought here by the police. Yeah, I know. But I love that we just stood and talked. Yep. Maya! Mrs. Maya! Mrs. Maya! Child, go nap. Ah! Hung. <laughs> come through. She got on guard convicted. Like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. But we will desert you and get you some foods. We will get you all the banana splits. <laughs> <sighs> but we sure pressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a fat ghost too early. God damn it. I don't need an eight-year-old flying around my room traumatizing me in the night. Is it really that easy to do something like that? Thanks a lot, Nick. Did they feed you yet? Probably not. Um, don't mention it. Maya. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, I'm relieved you're all right. Hey, it looks like you've made real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna marry Phoenix now, so I kind of have to get used to you and being more emotionally vulnerable. Well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. There it is. All right. I think it's time we got we got out of this depressing place. Please and fucking thank you. Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick. Food. Grub. Chow. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. You, even you, look like a nice juicy burger on a bun to me, Nick. Leave that to Edward. You think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib at least. Mr. Edgeworth, please! Oh shit, it's our first date. If you insist. <laughs> I will never stop pushing this. <laughs> it's worth every groan from every person out there. From every person who needs to scream, You're not gay! I don't fucking care! <laughs> That that ship has been sailing oh, since I know. back in the early 2000s. I know, but there was there's always that one person that's like offended at the idea right. that someone might, someone might humor the idea. <sighs> All right, so how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food. So I have to say, we have to make it up by having another feast! I mean, yeah, she's been starved, absolutely. Another feast? Come on, Nick! Food! Oh, <laughs> that was <laughs> the banquet! Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> hey, pal. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Goshu is jacked. He's, I mean, yeah. You're kind of built like. Well, I'm I'm hunched. <laughs> yeah, but like when you're like standing up straight, you're, it's the same fucking. Bit. I'm not that buff. I wish I'd have to go to the gym a bit more. <sighs> yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I'd hit a telephone pole of all things. Oh, flashbacks. <sighs> That's how I thought mom let and mom died. <laughs> That motherfucker swerved us clear off the road. I hit the tree thing, and then I thought Mom had just crushed into a pole. Oh, boys. Thought I lost the end of my finger, but nope. A <laughs> glass bottle hit me. Didn't get cut or anything, but it smacked against the nerve, and I was like, okay, tip my finger's missing. Nope, just numb. <sighs> and it was a red light that got him. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's Phoenix. Fuck. Oh. Shit. <laughs> yeah, did it again, city boy. I feel like my dear old heart's gonna give out on me, and, and I ain't joking. 
Oh dear. I think it's all the voices. Fuck us. Yeah. It was more exciting than the very last episode of the Steel Samurai. Thanks. Yep. You need to be fucking burp. Now look at here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Wright too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it. Tonight, even. I mean, I'm planning on kicking him tonight myself, so... Is that enough of an apology? <laughs> <laughs> what am I fucking back into the right mind? <laughs> uh... I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> well, come on now, everyone gather around. Y'all... Y'all gonna get your picture taken by a genuine pet professional photographer. Petographer. <laughs> Looks like Lotta uh, bought herself a new camera. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us for now. Come on. Tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. <laughs> You know, when I. <coughs> when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day. I mean, yeah, the, the, that's the point of the game! You saved the day, detective. Huh? Me? You really think so? Oh shit, another gay ship! <laughs> it's Gumshoe and Powers! Oh my god. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> It's that stupid thing from Final Fantasy XV! <laughs> Man, this place, this place is so romantic, and you get to share it with us. All three of us. You are a lucky man. <laughs> oh dear. Robbie Damon, you knew what you were doing, motherfucker! <laughs> if it wasn't for the three items you took. Ugh. I think this trial uh, would have had a very different ending. Ah, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm not laughing that much. Fuck this. Huh. Wait. That's odd. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, sir. What? Four? Yeah. I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Oh, come on now, y'all. What did over. you do? What did you take? But who, boy, I tell you, you're really something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with you, huh? <laughs> you think? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days, weren't you scared? was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. It me. <laughs> I would just grab a rock and scribble on the walls. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like you had a rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see Mystic Maya's picture. Um, you know, I don't know where it went. Aw, that's too bad. Well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyway. Mm hmm. It sure is nice to finally see both of them smiling again. Uh huh. Hmm. What is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking something up. Ah, that's Miss Von Karma's receiver. Uh, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she st stuck a tracking device on me. That's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh? It's probably busted or something, sir. Really? <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten <laughs> way too much. You she was starved for two days labor alone. I have fun tonight. Now if you'll excuse me. 
Wait. What? I just want to say thanks, Edward. You really saved me out there. We're gay as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that smug look. Uh, if anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel. <laughs> give him a whip! <laughs> um, you know what's funny? What? I'm pretty sure that's actually what I have to give him. Give me a second. Motherfucker. Here, kinky motherfucker, take a whip. Yeah, it is the whip. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Looks like Mr. Asher left, Mr. Nick. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Mr. Boya! Hmm? Yes, Pearly? I guess you didn't go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean. Pearly, would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me. Um, anyway, so who is paying for this lovely dinner party? <laughs> As if you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to Nick. Oh, boys. Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of at the point where I can't even even buy instant noodles, pal. I, yeah. Oh, so I kind of already put your name on the bill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh? Huh? You got? Yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. Then maybe you shouldn't be eating out. There's this camera shop in this hotel, see? And I just bought myself this big, good old beauty here. <laughs> I'd better anyhow for three thousand. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's legal, ma'am. <sighs> Actually, I reckon I'm, you bought it, you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. I don't has this much monies. Isn't it great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, oh, you, you don't need to hold back, hold, to hold back now, you hear? <laughs> yeah, pal. Time to let it all out. This is going to be your first time I hear the real you. Fuck! <laughs> Gone! It's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage and all. All right, then. If you say so. Just bursts into tears. OBJECTION! <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> he just bursts into tears. <laughs> I love the idea now. <laughs> Not just that. The stupid thing with that. You came through for me, Nick. Yeah? I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? Mm. I feel like a pro. Sure. Oh, boys. <laughs> Powers and gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gotta be. I'm so happy that you could save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick. And I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of which, I think this hotel's a popular place for honeymooners. God so damn it. So <laughs> I sort of made a reservation for you two, just in case. Oh, boys. Pearls. <gasps> Pearls, please. Are you actually looking up? <laughs> I am, because there's no way that I was the first person to think of that. There's always someone. What the fuck is his first name? Well, pal, it looks like... Uh... Something Powers. What is his last name? Or first name. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck. We haven't heard his first name in a while. Um, what is Powers' his first name? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember. I'll just say powers. Yeah. Not pows. Hey! 
I forgot how to do her. Oh, fucking she shows up in the next oh, game, too. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to rewatch that episode that she's in because I know for a fact she comes back. She, okay. Yeah, I, I know I'm gonna need to redo her, like. Don't say that for any other characters. I don't want to know who shows up. Okay. What the fuck is this? What is your name? Oh god, hottie. Fuck. Yes. Are you here to visit a patient? I'm Director Hottie. Uh, recently, yes, that girl you know. I haven't seen her around. Yes, but I remember if I even laid so much as what I on her, I could go... Okay, it doesn't matter if I got whipped. Oh, <laughs> that crack. He, he is... He has a... No king shaming. No, he's just weird. In general. Not king shaming wise, just he's fucking weird. I mean, he's a he's a oh fuck you. You're just a predator. <laughs> hey Max, what do you think Zimbabwe's like? Oh god, you think there's a castle made of cake and bun? Oh boys, she needs to. Well then. Cute. It's bully. I'm Mova Clown. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why is everything a smile when I'm clearly so depressed? Oh, Trillo. Oh, we've got him. I forgot how to do his voice. <sighs> Say something, will you? You're supposed to start with this stuff off. Get get on with it. I know it was like something like yeah, that. This is good enough. Because <sighs> I know Will you Powers. That's his name. Will! What's this? Oh god. Ah. What is she doing? I can't believe that <laughs> can do this. Oh my god, she's still looking around. Oh. Oh god. I don't get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? Yes. Easily. <laughs> I am certainly not the first person. <laughs> oh, boys. <laughs> The actual wow! People have made like books, yaoi books, like dojinshis on them. I've, like I've seen Gumshoe and Edgeworth. Yeah, because he's like his puppy or whatever. Yeah. But there are actual dojinshis on uh, Will Powers and Gumshoe. Wild. <laughs> oh well. Fair enough. You've been d miserable for so long, your smile looks odd. <laughs> you may need a facial massage. Can you help massage those smile muscles? Oh my god, the killer. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you'd like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. <laughs> you just self-destructed the- okay. Fair enough, I guess. He's like, goodbye! Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. Last little bit. International departure, gate 12. Last little bit. You heard that too. Huh? Hmm? Did you hear that too? That puck? I belched and turned away to... Oh, that... I didn't want the smell to be over there, so I was like... <laughs> okay, that's uh, Edgeworth. <clears throat> Where are you going, Francisca? How did you know I was here? <laughs> I mean, I ran away, so I figured you'd do the same. <laughs> With this. That's... I heard you were planting things on certain <laughs> a certain person. <laughs> Things like tracking devices on his coat, for example. For example. Hmm. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy drab of a coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, 
You told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from D-Killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things in total, sir. Four things? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in there, in here. It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. <sighs> Make sure we're melancholy before we leave. <laughs> what are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up. That's yes. <laughs> you don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfin Valkarma's daughter. No, bleh. To be fair, Manfin Valkarma's a piece of shit. Of course he is. I absolutely agree with that. But if I hear one more person in my life say, you can't possibly understand what it's like to be me or feel like this, every single person that's been depressed and needed help believes that no one else has felt depressed. So frustrating. Early 2000s writing. <laughs> no. Even when we've... Yeah, I know. <laughs> when we had to call for someone's mental health to make sure they didn't do anything. Francisca. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what, and failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. Nyx? You're going to destroy yourself with this mindset? Hello, my dog. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But... He was also evil. But me, I'm no genius. I've always known that. So you're destroying yourself because of this? But I... I had to be the one. I had to. You may <laughs> yeah, straight up to be like, <laughs> you may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been and always will be. She says she's not a genius, but she she became a prosecutor at the age of thirteen. She's not a genius like her father, which I think is a good thing. Yeah. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that... Here's a whip back. <laughs> <laughs> right gave this to me... Uh, gave me this to hold on to. Right. <laughs> you can't catch me, gay thoughts! Yes, we can! <laughs> <laughs> you knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. Are your allergies acting up as well? Something. Mine have been acting up, and n normally in the spring with you, you don't really get traditional allergy. No, I just get a scratchy nose. You get the itchy nose, which is a symptom. Yeah, it's just like skin and that's it. Yeah, so I do think the dry air combined with the everything else and the fact that I'm getting actual allergy symptoms could be why your your nose is itchy. Yeah. I have like probably like the mildest of mild allergies because it's literally the only thing that happens to me is my nose gets itchy and that's But you it. were like rage scratching before. It gets bad. Yeah. You have one singular obnoxious one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down that with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always... You've always left me alone and walked on ahead of me, ahead without me, Miles Edgeworth. You're the one knocking away. <laughs> I've always hated you. That's fine. <laughs> and then, finally, my chances to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix right and bow down in defeat, the then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. Did you ever speak to me about these repressed feelings? Or... Yeah, I'm guessing not. That's why you're all fucked up. 
I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. You very much can. <laughs> I believe you can! Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? Hmm. Today, you chased after me after I left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you're going to quit, uh, blah. If you say you're going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francisca von Karma. Oh! <laughs> Mental break, let's go! <laughs> All the sadness! I am. I. I am Francisca von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now, so you had better prepare yourself, my Zedrath. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you- She needs to go see a psychiatrist. Or psychologist. Either way. Therapist. Therapist. She just needs to see mental health professional. Therapist. She just needs to- One day, someday, I'm sure we will meet again in battle. I'm assuming this is Francisca. Until then, this last piece of evidence that never made it to you. I'll take good care of it. Of this no, part. this is Edgeworth. He's holding on to it, I think. Oh. So I can give it to you when at last we meet again. And we get to see the last piece of evidence. Oh, wait, or, or did she have it? <laughs> 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 Worth it. So good. <laughs> Either way, whoever was talking, this is funny. <laughs> Ta-da! Everyone needs to learn to speak to each other. Yes. <laughs> Left me alone all these years. I didn't know I was supposed to wait. Maybe if you'd spoken Farewell to me. Farewell my turn about. All right. Maybe if you'd spoken to me and we'd talked about what was going on in our brains. And here we go. We have finished game number two. <sighs> that means next time we will play Trials and Tribulation, game number three. <laughs> Where's game cognitive dissonance? Because I'm sensing a lot of that. <laughs> there must be a chapter in here somewhere. And the first turnabout will be uh, Turnabout Memories, episode one. Very nice artwork. All right. But yeah. So we'll do this next time. Probably next week. <laughs> you okay? I could never be a therapist. That's I would lose my mind with the amount of people that make complaints but do nothing to actually sort it out. That is like a small portion of my job half the time. <laughs> Which is why I could never work in any of the places that have phone calls like that because oh, I don't take phone calls thank no no, no you still have that. to listen to them oh yes I do and you have to listen to the bullshit I would be fired immediately I cannot deal with that level of just shenanigans ignorance where they are intentionally just I'm saying what I'm saying and I know what you're about to say will fix this problem but because I'm not ready to face it I'm going to continue ragging on you instead. No, you're gonna go work on that and then you can come back to me. I'm not your emotional punching bag. Go fix your shit. Anyways, thank you everyone who's been watching the stream tonight. If you had enjoyed it and you haven't already, you can always follow me so I know the next time I pop online. I need to speak to my therapist about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. And uh, if you wish to see all the videos done in the past, there's a link down below, including the previous uh, VODs for this game. 
And to be fair, we took a very long break. <laughs> so probably a good thing to check that out if you so wish. Uh, and there's also other games on that, on that channel as well, from Resident Evil to, Horiz to the Horizon series, or whatever the fuck else I played over the years. I Yakuza, I recommend the drunk stream. It was very good. <laughs> yeah, lots of Yakuza. We gotta go back to Yakuza at some point. Yes, because uh, we stopped off after uh, she uh, uh, Haruka had found the inmate on the beach. Yes. If you have school tomorrow, please be sleeping right now. If you have artwork that you want to submit and show people, do so. Contact them. Um, and for no need to pursue this later on, if you want to see the videos live, you can always pop on over to the Twitch channel. Link is in the description of every one of my videos. If not, you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel so the next time a new video pops up. The dog's already at the door. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's he waiting. Knows. So thank you everyone who's been watching me tonight. See you all next time. Also, I have a Patreon. He Two. does. He does. Holy shit, I've actually got shit to plug now. Yeah, you actually do now. Finally. Bye, guys. Oh. Bye.